hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl kiki and i'm back again with another video for you guys if you're new subscribe right now i'll wait because listen hold on before i get into this video i just want to say one thing there's some of you lot watching all of my videos and you're not subscribing to my channel why subscribe please come on like it doesn't make sense in the air at the moment and I don't know about you but I've been feeling so claustrophobic I just feel like there's no peace anywhere right now this video is just a quick little update of what's been going on in my life guys the past week has been it's felt like a year literally I can't believe it's literally how long has it been all of this started around the 22nd of May and we are now what's the date I don't even know what the date is because it's just like all the days are just going into one do you get what i mean i feel like i'm going delusional what's the date it's the fourth today is thursday the fourth of june okay so on the t on the 22nd of may a couple weeks ago i called my gp to make an appointment for esme my daughter because i was concerned about these these movements that she kept doing randomly she did it now and then this it was almost like spasms it was very concerning to me and yeah, as time went on, I just was not happy with what, what what she was doing. Everybody, you know, everyone was telling me not to worry too much, but do you know what I mean? I wasn't happy, so I called the GP and I told him my concerns. I had to describe what was going on with her over the phone. Obviously, no face-to-face -face appointments during this COVID-19. <sighs> I couldn't explain it properly, so I decided I'm going to record it so that anyone that wants to see can have a look at the footage. So I sent over the footage to the GP. He wasn't concerned about it to be fair, he told me not to worry and that it was probably reflux, long story short, so cool. I wasn't happy with that really because I know that's not reflux, yeah. I know that what she was doing was abnormal, she's not my first child, so my second, so do you know what I mean, I know, I know, okay. So last Tuesday I called 111, 111 is, hey Siri. What is 111? 111 is an integer 111. It's also one and it's not prime. I called them, told them like, what was, I told them, I described what was going on with my daughter, her, the health issues and whatever, and they decided to send out some paramedics to come and see her at, at home here. But I just wanted someone to come face to face so I could show them the footage, do you know what I mean? And explain to them what was going on. They were a bit concerned to be fair, so they are taking us to the hospital now in the ambulance. When we got to the hospital, this was last Tuesday, when we got to the hospital, they ran, they did a few blood tests from her, they took some blood, um, they done an EEG and an ECG scan, to see her heart pattern and to see her brain activity. Now, I showed the doctor at the hospital the footage and within five seconds of him watching he was like she's having a seizure what i didn't know how to feel at that point because i was so angry at that gp that had told me that it was reflux yeah like and it was just like wow like if i hadn't have brought her in to the hospital what would have actually happened if i had not have called 111 what would have actually happened because GP told me it's reflux. The EEG scan confirmed that as well, that she had seizure activity happening in her brain. And I was just like... So anyways, guys, we ended up getting ad admitted up to the ward. So basically, we had to stay in the hospital overnight. Um, they wanted to run a lot of tests. Obviously, it's very serious. She's having seizures. Um... They had to run a lot of tests. Obviously, at that point, I had no idea how long I'd be staying in the hospital. I was just like, like, wow, this is serious. This went from zero to 100. So over the next couple of days, Tuesday, Thursday, um, they were just running more tests. They got a physiotherapist to come see her, occupational therapist, speech and language, like a whole bunch of different people to come and help her out. 
On the Thursday night, they started the medication to, to try and stop and control the seizures happening. The medication that she's on has a lot of side effects. I'm going to put the side effects right next to me because I want you guys to actually see what she's going through. She's only seven months old. So it's Thursday night. They want to send us to a different hospital because she has an appointment for an MRI scan. We ended up having to get transferred over to another hospital. This is like day three, four now of not being home. I actually went home on the Friday evening to get a rest, to get a shower, to do like what I had to do. I needed a break from the hospital. I'd been in the hospital for like three nights in a row or something like that. So I basically swapped with her dad. You're only allowed one parent in the hospitals at the moment. We swapped over. I came home and got a little bit of a rest. The next day, Saturday, I went back. We swapped again, me and dad. We swapped. I went in. He left. He told me on the Saturday that previously during the day that she had been sick like projectile vomited like across the room and I was like well, like wow like that was weird and she also had diarrhea we put this down to the medication because she just started and those were some of the side effects that could possibly happen so because she had the vomit and the diarrhea and stuff guys they actually moved us from the main ward and they put us in a room by herself <laughs> they put us in a room by herself next to the room that we got put in there were doors and in front of the, these doors was this sign. I don't know if you want to pause the video now and just read what that says. But basically on the other side of those doors were the COVID-19 patients. My daughter's seven months old. She's in the high risk category. Yeah. She's not well. She's sick anyways. And we're that close to to that but i was so uncomfortable guys like it was too close for comfort gets to about 6 p.m my stomach starts hurting and i run to the toilet guys and i'm sick oh my god i was like what like i'm not being funny all i've eaten today is the hospital food so yeah well, I've eaten as a hospital food, I don't know. Back in the room and I was just, just me and Esme, so I'm just trying to, you know, get myself together or whatever. The nurse is coming in now. I didn't want to tell them that I'd been sick because I didn't want them to think that there was something wrong with me or that I would, do you know what I mean? I don't know, I just, I was just pretending that I was fine, basically. About an hour later, I was sick again, okay? That's when I was like, have I got a food poisoning? Like, I called Esme's dad and I was like, I've been sick, like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I start being sick over and over and over and over again. I was sick altogether for about eight hours, yeah? I was kept vomiting, vomiting, vomiting. I got so weak. But the thing is, later that night, Esme's dad called me to tell me that he'd started vomiting too. He'd started vomiting too, and I was just like, what the hell was going on? Like, it doesn't make sense. I was getting weak, I was getting dizzy, I was getting dehydrated. Like, guys, I'm in hospital with my daughter for her issues. And I end up on an, on an IV myself, yeah. And I had to give me anti-sickness tablets. And the doctor, I was telling the doctor what had happened, whatever, and I was saying, like, her dad's been sick as well, like, what's going on? He was like, yeah, what well, it sounds like you have neurovirus. It sounds like you caught neurovirus from the hospital. I was like, wow. But they didn't let me back on the ward upstairs. Esme had an MRI scan that same day, a brain scan to see what had been going on and what was causing the seizures. And they told me that because I had neurovirus, I was not allowed back on the ward. So they sent me home, yeah? They sent me home on Monday, it's Thursday now. They sent me home, they said I had to stay at home for 48 hours hours after the symptoms had stopped so i was just like wow i have to leave esme in the hospital and it was just so bad family members have been helping out and they've been staying with her and stuff and i've been video calling the doctors when they need to speak to me and stuff like that but it's just crazy i didn't even get to say bye to esme literally they gave me my bags and that at the door and then I had to go. I got a cab and I came back home. Now, they they ran a test on Esme to see if she also had the virus. And that came back positive. So, on top of everything that she's been going through, she also caught neurovirus from the hospital. I don't understand how that can happen. I thought play, these places were meant to be clean and hygienic. 
why are we catching a vomiting bug from the hospital anyways guys so yeah today is thursday i was planning to go back to the hospital today but the nurse called us and said that everyone on the ward is vomiting including the staff and they put the ward on lockdown so no one's allowed in and no one's allowed out esme is in the hospital i am at home hopefully um we can go back to the hospital tomorrow i don't know if they're gonna let us because if everyone's vomiting i'm just scared that we're gonna get sick again but i just want to bring esme home now this was a very this was not a good hospital experience at all guys zion's at his nan's house he's been there for the past couple of weeks she's been helping us out while we've been going back and forth from the hospital so yeah, I want him home as well so that we can get back into some sort of routine. Esme is in the hospital, Zan's over there, I'm over here. It's just, it's just too much. It's too much and I miss them both. Yeah guys, that was just a quick little update on what's been going on. That's why I haven't really been uploading. I've just got a lot on my mind guys, so just bear with me and yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.